A small CMOS farm located in the village of Labri is a means of survival for Philip Simeon. Situated next to the crossover park, the farm is a site that mingles with the magnificent coral rifts in that area to add diversity to the striking fishing village. So right now I have a small farm. It's about, let me see, about 80 or 70 lines I have in the water. And trying right now to develop it more because it seems there are areas or there are um, ways has been opened to me so that I can, you know, go further and expand it so that I can meet the demands right now that is ahead of me. A specific type of simos used by the Labri simos farmer is the Uchuma. It is a species that is considered extremely valuable. I have the blessed plant so that I can plant simos, Uchuma, because it fights against all different, you know, like mud, and all different appetites that you know move across the sea because watch it it's slimy you can pass your hand on it it's so slimy so anything that's rest on it it will just wash out the specific advantages of this plant is that it stays completely clean when it's growing all of the other species at certain times of the year would get covered with other plants and animals and make it very difficult to clean this particular species stays totally clean all year round it also has a very good growth rate, uh, doubling in weight in approximately 10 days. The production of CMOS is a labor-intensive process that needs to be approached systematically. I'll take a piece of eucuma, about that size. And then I'll push it in the rope. See? That's how it's starting. Then, if it is of 20, 10 feet, you bend the end of the rope, we fire, and you tie two anchors to it, and then put floats. A very important element of CMOS production is harvesting. Right now, what I'm doing there, I'm harvesting. Yes. Afterwards, take it back on shore, yes. put it in a nylon, yes. then let it bleach, if we have, if I have fair weather, they have fair weather. Yeah. We are um, without clouds. Yeah. You find it will take one day to bleach. Yeah. But if it is cloudy and the weather is disturbant, yeah. you'll find it will be take. I'll, be, I'll take two days to bleach. Bleaching the simos is fundamental to the process. This involves draining the simos. I've seen the nylon right now. Well organized. Make sure it's well organized. Then you have to put a stone that's in the mouth. Right. Then when the sun hit it, maybe around two o'clock so it will be bleach. Then when it bleach, you turn it the next phase. And then afterwards you put it on a you wash it well and then put it on a rack. The method used to dry the CMOS is essentially a natural process. The obvious lack of modern technology for that particular process warrants a longer period of drying time. The obvious result for the entrepreneur is less profit. So what I'm trying right now, Kari already designing something for me, a solar. A solar, the glass will be at the top there. We'll have trays so that the CMOS can be inside there. And then, even though the weather is like that, I can get a cure faster than, you know, having waiting on the sun when they have... And even when, when, when there is a lot of rain, I won't have a problem, you know, to fight against the rain, cover the CMOS, you know, it's properly covered. So I need to, you know, move further into technology. Marketing is the key that opens doors to consumers. Although Simeon has not benefited from formal marketing classes, he has been able to employ instinctive marketing strategies that have worked for the business. What I did, I'll call them supermarkets. When I first started, I started with um, St. Lucia Marketing Board, Fishwin Complex and Julian's and JQ. 
Now I'll call them, I'll tell them, you, um, are you interested in CMOS? They will tell me, no, they are not so interested. They don't know what it's all about. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll try to convince them, tell them, okay, if you all don't know what it's all about, what's about if I bring three packets of CMOS or five packets of CMOS so that they all can put it on the shelf and try it on the shelf? They'll tell me, okay, they'll try it like that. When I'll bring, I'll bring 10 or five, within two weeks, it disappears on the shelf. They'll call me, they'll tell me, bring 50. When the 50 finish, they'll call me, they'll tell me, bring 100 parcels. That's how I go about, you know, marketing the CMOS. Recently, regional institutions such as the Caribbean Industrial Research Institute have offered assistance to the small businessmen in the area of marketing. A person from Trinidad told me that they want to be my agent. So what I did, I sent them um, some samples of my packages. I sent it up to him so that he can, you know, what the samples I gave him so that he can have it there you know, and trying to distribute it to his um, customers and things like that. Government has also played a facilitating role in the development of the CMOS farm. I'm on my way, you know, so that the, so that the government could assist me. Because right now, my product has been, been tested in one of the labs in Trinidad. And it's at that lab, and I need money, you know, to go up there to learn the technology to process it. And they, as soon as I hand over that money to them, I believe that the um, government will assist me there. The CMOS farm is on the verge of developing into a significant contributor to the local economy. Its importance to Philip Simeon and by extension the library community is invaluable. So I want to send a message to the consumers out there. Mr. Simeon will be on the market maybe in next year, it can be next year, because things take time to develop because it took me 11 years so that the media can know that, you know, I have a product in existence. So it can be next year, it can be six months time, I don't know. But I'm sending my message at uh, my consumer, people that buy in Simeon Simos. They might see me in a next fashion, not only um, in packages, but they'll see me in a different um, way so that my product have all the nutritious values and everything. So they don't have a... a method of saying, oh, I don't know how to prepare. Just pick it up on the shell and drink Simeon Simos. If you want to familiarize yourself with Simeon Simos Farm, take a trip to the magnetic fishing village of Labri. Persons such as Simeon are encouraged to check with the National Research and Development Foundation, NRDF, the Small Enterprise Development Unit, SIDU, or the James Bell Group Micro Enterprise Development Fund, Bell Fund, for possible financial and technical assistance.